In this problem, we're told what speed would a 1 gram paperclip have if it had the same kinetic energy as molecule at 15 degrees Celsius. So in this problem, we're going to be dealing with kinetic energy. And so we're going to be dealing with the kinetic energy of like an object, and the formula for that is 1 half mv squared. And then there's another formula for the average translational kinetic energy uh, for a molecule. In this case, it's 3 over 2 kT. And so we're saying what speed would it have? So we're going to be solving for v, keep that in mind. And if it had the same kinetic energy as a molecule at 15 degrees Celsius. So the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to solve for the uh, kinetic energy of a molecule at um, 15 degrees Celsius. That's going to give us the kinetic energy. And then we're going to set it equal to this formula and solve for V because they're saying it's the same kinetic, uh, same kinetic energy. So let's go ahead and start by solving for uh, the, the kinetic energy of a molecule at 15 degrees Celsius. So the formula for that is just 3 over 2 times K. And K is Boltzmann's constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And then temperature in this case is, we need it in Kelvin, and it's 15 degrees Celsius. So T is just going to be 273 plus 15. So that just gives you uh, 288. And so now it's in Kelvin. So we can plug it in. But yeah. So do 1.5 or 3 over 2 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And then multiply by 288. And so you're going to find basically... It equals 5.9616 times 10 to the minus 21. Let's keep in mind this is joules. And so now what we're saying is this paper clip, right, is going to have the same kinetic energy as this. So basically, 1 half mv squared equals this number right here. And yeah, so this is 5.9616 times 10 to the minus 21. So we can multiply both sides by 2. And then we can divide by the mass, and then square root. So basically, it's going to be the square root, or your answer, the square root of 5.9616 times 10 to the minus 21 times 2. And then you're dividing by the mass. In this case, they tell us the mass of our paperclip is 1 gram, which is 0 0.001 kg. So go ahead and plug that in. And yeah, so you're just going to want to plug this in your calculator. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and plug this in your calculator. And what you're going to find is that our answer is going to be 3.5 times 10 to the minus 9, basically. That's just rounded. But yeah, so it's 3.45 times 10 to the minus 9. But I'm just going to go ahead and round to 3.5. You can round to however you want. So 3.5 times 10 to the minus 9, and then it's velocity. So our units are meters per second. But yeah, so 3.5 times 10 to the minus 9 meters per second. That's going to go ahead and be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.